Hi, this is a demonstration of how to upgrade the firmware on your Mushi Meter from Android. Um, unfortunately, for Android, you need to remove the back and hit the reset button. On iOS, this is not necessary. So if you have access to an iOS device and you don't want to do this, uh, you can go ahead and update your firmware from iOS and uh, skip this process. But for Android, you're going to need to remove the back so you can access the reset button, which is located here uh, next to the SD card um, and when you hit the reset button the meter resets and it goes into bootloader mode indicated by this slow flashing and it's only there for five seconds before it jumps back into the application so what you want to do is open up the Mushi Meter app on your Android phone and while you're scanning hit the button, you'll see it as a bootloader, connect to it while it's still in bootloader mode, and that'll take you to the firmware upload stage. Um, from here, just hit start programming, and uh, you'll see the LED blink very quickly as the firmware packets arrive. Um, for Android versions 5 and later, uh, this takes about two minutes. If you have Android 4.4 or 4.3, uh, it'll take about 10 minutes. So for those, we really recommend upgrading to 5.0 or later, or doing it from iOS if you have access to an iOS device. Um, there are a lot of bugs in the Android Bluetooth stack that we unfortunately have no control over. Uh, we write about that in the blog if you're interested. After the firmware upload completes, the device will disconnect and uh, boot straight into the new firmware. Um, so now you can see it appears in our scan. It's got a new version number and uh, now we can connect and use it. And it's got the latest firmware, so all the newest features. Uh, that's all there is to it. Thanks very much.